In Green Lantern 43, Hal Jordan ends up on the outer limits of the cosmos to confront an old enemy who might be able to help him save the universe. We've got writer Robert Venditti here to help us unlock the mysteries of space. With the new direction uh, coming out of Convergence, Hal has found himself in a new situation. The reputation of the Corps as a police force has been really diminished. So he took it upon himself to sort of volunteer and take the blame for all of those errors and sort of paint himself as a bad cop so that the rest of the Corps could excise him and get a chance at rebuilding their reputation. Now we as readers know that Hal is still the hero he's always been. The whole rest of the universe thinks he's a bad guy. So he's still going around trying to help people and do what's right and live by his own code, but everybody's trying to hunt him down. Added into that, he no longer has a ring like he used to. He now wears Krona's Gauntlet, which is a prototype weapon that was sort of refined and eventually became the rings. But this, like prototypes are, is an earlier, less reliable version of the Green Lantern weapon. So he has complications with that as well in terms of the interface and how it interacts with him, almost reaching into his subconscious sometimes and acting out in ways that he doesn't want it to. For somebody like Hal, who's an impulsive character by nature, that can be really dangerous. On top of everything else, Hal has found that the Green Lantern Corps has vanished and nobody knows what's happened to them. So he wants to get to the bottom of that mystery. In the midst of doing so, he stumbles across another mystery where there's entire worlds that are being turned to stone. Entire civilizations wiped out and he doesn't know how. Hal is very much the kind of person that if there's a crisis in front of him, he can't turn his back on that to deal with something bigger. So now he has to find out what's going on with these worlds and then hopefully get to the core and the mystery there and find them. And so in issue 43, he finds himself confronting Relic, who is a previous villain that he's interacted with, who hates anyone that uses the emotional spectrum to get answers because he suspects the source wall may be involved and Relic is probably the most knowledgeable person about the source wall. Relic would be one of the old adversaries that Hal's facing, another one is Black Hand. When we got to the end of issue 42, we saw him and that's the first time we've seen him since the Godhead storyline when he rose these beings off the source wall, which had never happened before. So how Black Hand is a part of these worlds turning to stone is part of the mystery and part of the answers that Hal needs from Relic. One of the interesting things about this new direction is to not just change Hal and his status quo in terms of him being a renegade and trying to be a hero and function in this environment where he's being hunted down, but also have him interact with classic pieces of his mythology so we can see how they react to this new status quo for him. So there's going to be a lot of that in addition to a ton of new concepts that we'll be introducing as the issues go on. That's it for now, but you can check out both of the videos right over there for more DC All Access. And remember to click subscribe to make your subscription feed more powerful than a locomotive. Pretty sure he's kidding there. No, I'm not. <laughs>